backstory. Um, there is no MOT, which is inspections, on trailers in England. There is no inspections on trailers in America under 3,000 pounds. The manufacturers and farmers and my political leaders, mainly Delegate Pollard, State Senator Tim Kaine, State Senator Mark Warner, Donna Corral of the NTSB, and the delegates and state senators in Virginia, including the governor of South Carolina, all know the problem. The problem is people are not held accountable for what they tow. You would not put a child of your own into a homemade car seat that was not properly secured. Why are people towing a trailer in front of our families that are homemade, never inspected, never, ever tested by anybody? The so-called IAHH, NHTSA, they have never tested a trailer in a crash or windsway or a hitch failure in ever. And yet, for some reason, they want us to wear seatbelts so we can get destroyed by a flying trailer. This family is courageous. This family is going to save lives with our help. Time and time again, politicians have lied to us about trying to address trailer safety because of farmers, mainly, who do not want to properly inspect and maintain their crappy trailers on our nation's roads. Period. That's who we're going to point our fingers to and shame on the English government if they do not do anything again on problems like this. Uh. And here we go. Every day this couple say they relive the horror of seeing their three-year-old son crushed to death. Last January, Freddie Hussey had been walking home with his mother in Bedminster in Bristol when a two-ton trailer mounted the pavement and trapped Freddie against the wall. It was just awful. I mean, at the time it all happened so fast and yet it was slow at the same time. And it just, I mean, I saw things that day that you just shouldn't, that nobody should see. And the fact that that was my little boy I, I'm not coping. I Go get on. nightmares. I get flashbacks. You know, he was on the pavement. He should have been safe. Absolutely The trailer correct. had become free from the car, towing it because the driver had failed to attach it correctly. Tony Davis pleaded guilty to death by careless driving and was ordered to carry out 200 hours of community service and given a six-month driving ban, something Freddie's family say is an insult to their son. I feel like in the eyes of the our little boy's life didn't matter. Um, Not to the powerful just politicians and lobby groups. Because of that lack of action. Total lack of action. We live this every day. The death of Freddie has affected all members of the family. His parents are both suffering from depression and post-traumatic stress disorder, while Freddie's eight-year-old brother has spoken about ending his life. When it first happened, he said, if I kill myself, I'd go to heaven with Freddie. For parents to have to listen to a child say that, it's just devastating. Should never happen. The family now want tougher sentences brought in and are campaigning for a change in law to make it safer to tow trailers. In this country, trailers don't have to go for an MOT or safety checks. Correct. Um, in other countries, trailers are... Um, Australia, New Zealand. Like given MOT six every months. six months. But not in America. Why is that not law over it to tow a trailer? You have to have a license or a safety certificate to say the trader's safe. Freddie kind of died for nothing. Something's got to change. Not if we can help it. Freddie's parents say their son's future was taken away from him. Now they want to make sure others don't suffer the same fate. Victoria Davis, ITV News, Bristol.